Camouflage is nothing new. It's as old as nature. In fact, nearly everything in nature uses some form of camouflage to conceal it from its enemy. Notice this young deer, defenseless except for its protective coloring, which blends it into the foliage. Take away this foliage, and the deer becomes an obvious figure, an easy target. Now, here's another example of concealment by blending. Uh, notice that the bird in the foreground matches the background pattern so perfectly that her presence is given away only by her shadow. But still another type of camouflage is that used by this butterfly, which attracts your attention with its bright colors. Now, it's difficult for you to find it now because you're looking for those same bright colors. If you study these leaves closely and are looking for a butterfly that looks like a leaf, you'll be able to pick him out. But the cleverest of all is the chameleon. It's very difficult to get a look at him because he can change his color to match any background. Ah, I think we're going to catch him asleep. Yep, there he is. Now, if we can just slip this card in behind there, I think we've got him. Hey! Oh, what the... Got away. What's going on around here? What is it, anyway? Did it again. What's the matter, Sally? Having a little trouble? <laughs> Let's try this one. Nope. Why don't you try polka dots? Pretty, ain't they? Uh oh Nearly got him. Hey, let's see that last pattern again. Hmm. Think I'll have a suit made of this? Oh, oh no, you don't. I know one that'll catch him. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, you got me. I, I give up. Whew. Say, what's up, anyway? Well, I was using you as the perfect example of concealment in nature. Oh, it's nothing. I come by it naturally, I guess. But you must admit it's extremely important. That's when I keep telling them down at the airfield. What do you mean? Well, these guys built an airfield right in my backyard, and here comes one of the jerks now. They may be aces in the air, but they're dodos on the ground. You'd think they were safe at home the way they lay their field exposed. Look at that. Leaves this plane right out in the open. I've tried and tried to tell these guys, but they just won't listen. Well, let's go over. I'll show you what I mean. If I didn't use any more concealment of those dodos, I'd be gobbled up and... <clears throat> Pardon me. I can't afford to take chances. They're nice kids, all right, but... Awfully short-sighted. Howdy, dodo. How's it going? Well, look who's here. Oh, now you see him, now you don't, you hoody. What are you selling today? Now, look. I'm your friend. If you have enemies, you have to hide. Uh-oh. Speak of the devil. For instance, <laughs> this old coot figures I'm the answer to meat rationing. But since he can't see me, I'm in a good position to strike back. <laughs> now, the Japs will be coming over after you the same way. Not the way we knock them down. Just got my fist. And uh, what's that painting you're doing now? This is their insignia. Uh-huh. Same as on those up there, ain't it? Yep, same thing. Whoa, Jack! Personally, I'm getting the hell out of here. Get going, bud. How do I get myself mixed up on these things? Pretty sad. One, two, three, four, five. Sort of evens the score for the five you got, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. You told me so. Okay, Yehudi, what's the dope? What do you want us to do? Now you're cooking, son. Get the boys busy repairing the planes and the rest of you come inside. I am going to make a speech. To begin with, if you guys were fighting on the ground, you wouldn't run around in the open like this. You'd duck behind rocks and trees and try to hide yourself. Being careful not to leave any part of your, uh, uh, your uh, anatomy exposed to give away your position. Now, take this guy. Anyone knows he'd be less noticeable if he smeared mud over his clothes and stuck a little brush on here and there. Let's put a net on his helmet and stick some grass and leaves in it. 
Uh, ah, needs a little mud on his face. Now, you'd never know he was there, would you? Let's take another example. You fellows are familiar with all these things, and you can see the value of it because it's designed for observation from your normal position on the ground. But you're not being observed from the ground. You're being observed from the air. And it's high time you started thinking in terms of how things look from the air. I'm going to show you some actual pictures that may surprise you. Let her go. Here's a familiar sight. A detail with a six-wheeler cutting across the field. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Or is there? Look at those tracks. They follow you wherever you go. And so will the jab. Now watch this baby. Hiding in shadows doesn't seem very safe when you're on the ground, but presto. G.I. magic. All you fellas who have been leaving your planes out in the open, take a good look at this. Do you ever get easy targets like that in the air? Let's visit an engineer school and see if we can get some ideas on how to hide things. You've seen these fellows weaving strips of cloth into a net and building framework for installations around airfields. And, uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's with a tar and feather, a roll of chicken wire. And here they're making a dummy bush. And that's a fake rock he's working on there and back. Now, what you make a dummy tree? They take a section of wire covered with those chicken feathers, fasten it to a simple wooden framework, built to the size and shape they want. Then they paint it the same color as the real trees in the surrounding area. And they've got a tree that, 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 that'll even fool a dog, especially the kind that flies arrows. Now let's see how they use these things. Take that plane in the trees. Here's a place for dummy trees and rocks and bushes. But you don't have to cover the plane completely with trees. Just hide identifying features. A carefully placed dummy tree can change the shape of a wing by covering part of it and casting a shadow over the rest. More than that, it'll distort the shadow cast by the wing on the ground. Remember that shadow. It's just as important as the object itself. It can give away your whole installation if you don't keep it broken up. There now. See what you get? Would you ever guess there was a plane down there? Now, instead of using the shadow to hide the plane, let's take a problem where we have to hide the shadow. This plane in the open is a good example. Looks like the boys figure a garnishing net is the answer to this one. See how they've thinned out the garnishing at the edges? That makes the density of the shadow diminish gradually. Then up over the framework, carrying it well out to the sides to guard against lateral observation. Watch where you walk out there. You're going to leave tracks. Roll the old plane under. That's the way. Okay. Now, how does it look? Uh-huh. Given away by that short path running from the wagon road to the installation. That's the one path they used all the time they were building the thing. And now they're finished. They have one path to cover. And they do this by replacing the foliage that was originally there. But your best bet is to stay out of the open areas if you possibly can. Look for natural covering. And if they're not big enough, you simply add on to them. But be sure that all glass is covered or you see what happens? Light reflecting from any shiny surface is visible for miles from the air. Ask any pilot. He'll tell you. You fellas got to watch all this stuff. There are only a few fundamental principles to learn and remember. If you're smart enough to fool them in the air, you're certainly smart enough to fool them on the ground. Look at this plane standing right out there like a sore thumb. No attempt made to conceal or confuse. Why, it's a... It's, a, uh, well, uh, <coughs> it's, it's wonderful what they can do with paint. Uh, um, these dummies here, you know, they build them so they'll bomb the other instead of over where the real ones are. They're uh, quite effective, too. You can build them out of almost anything, only they work best if they cast a natural shadow. Then when the sun's behind clouds like it is here, you're consistent with nature. All of this is fine when you have plenty of time and material, but, but the chaps will be coming back any minute. Okay, let's take a look at, at that photograph of your field and see if we can apply some of these ideas. Boy, look at the targets out there. Yeah, but there's too much stuff there to hide. Mm, well, let's see. Do anything with your runway right now. Just get your planes away from the field. Hide them under trees or bushes, but keep them spread out. Then your trucks. Here, out in plain sight. And your fuel and supplies. 
all in one bunch. You only have two buildings that show, but you've called attention to the location of the rest of them. With these exposed slip trenches and by hanging out your laundry. Here, this shows it better. And by leaving these trash piles all around. Yeah, bud, but, but, but where do we get the stuff to cover them buildings? There's plenty of material all around here. Take this building. The things that identify it are the straight lines in contrast to the surrounding foliage. If you paint here, here, and here, the shape is no longer rectangular. Smear a little mud on it, and it's even better. Nail a few bushes on it, and you break up some of the shadow. Put more bushes on the ground so that shadow isn't falling on a flat surface, and the job's done. Especially if you cover this section of the road and drive these cars back and forth until you've created a dummy one going off here. You'll have to carry this road on through to here, too, so it won't seem to end suddenly when this building is covered. Then if you replace the planes you move with dummy planes, you're all set. But be careful you don't put your dummy planes too close to the runway or the buildings or your real planes. They don't always hit where they're aiming, you know. <laughs> all clear? Oh, uh, about these guns, should we do anything with them? Of course. Follow the same principle you do on everything else. Clean up the mess you've made around them and then kill the natural shape and shadow of the object using materials that match the surrounding terrain. All it takes is a little imagination and a lot of common sense. Okay, fellas, let's thank oh, you. Boy, we we'll we'll decide decide decide. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Better take one last look here and decide where you can walk without your tracks being seen. Stay on these roads where you can or under the trees or on the rough ground. If that isn't possible, lay out one narrow path that can easily be covered when you're through using it. Stake off those paths and stick to them, no matter how roundabout it seems. Okay? Then let's all get to work. Well, that's one way, and a darn good way. I'll have 
have to remember that one. Tell them more tips will do it. Better get those, uh, uh, those oil drums just first and undercover. Right where it belongs. 